folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today, I fix a tripod. Barb Makes Things! I carry around a small tripod with me pretty much all the time, but all of the workshops that I film in have a full-size tripod in them. When I was at Crash recently, I couldn't find the one that I usually use. It may have been purged, I don't know. But that just left me the nicer tripod. How is the nicer tripod a problem? It's missing its quick release plate. Like this, which holds the camera in place. I suppose I could have bought a replacement one, but what is this, Barb buys things? I had originally thought to 3D print this, but the 3D printers at Crashbase have been very popular lately, which is great, but it does make it difficult to get some time on the printers. In any case, I have other options, and this time I opted for the laser cutter. I kind of tinkered this design. Didn't really know what I was gonna do until I did it. That happens sometimes. Plus all these cuts took like five seconds, so it's no great time strain to try things out. First of all, I needed your good old standard size camera mount screw. So I went raiding the stashes at Crash Space and found this quarter inch 20 thread machine screw. I used a piece of paper to measure the space I needed to fill. Note that this didn't mean measuring all the way to the interior edges because the opening tapers in and an eighth of an inch up, it would be several millimeters smaller. I wound up with 42 millimeters square for the base piece. I measured the exact size for the screw and made a square with a circle in the middle in Corel Draw. Let's give it a shot. Looks like the whole size is fine for the narrowest part, but the head of the screw is flat and countersunk, so that hole doesn't let the bottom of the acrylic rest anywhere near the bottom of the screw. I decided to make another layer to fill the gap beneath this one with a larger hole. As I mentioned, the plate holder tapers in. The bottom layer is the widest, so I needed to make the now top layer a bit narrower. Cut again. Testing it in the tripod showed that the size of the square and rectangle were good. As for the circles, the bottom piece worked well for surrounding the head of the screw, but there was still a gap in between the two layers. I needed for the top layer's hole to be just big enough to pull down and have them touch, but small enough to pull the head tightly in place. So I expanded the hole and recut, tweaking it until I got it just the right size. At this point, I decided to make a new bottom plate with no hole that would make the screw captive and give it a little more height. This meant that the big hole plate was no longer the bottom and would need to be narrower. Recut. I added a couple plates to the top with smaller holes to give the screw a little more support and glued them all together with acrylic adhesive. Clamp it. Pretty and pink. And it works. Now we can record all the things at Crash Space again. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.